Open Design came basically as an answer for my frustration on my situation on and the industrial design in general, but also as a realization that I should do something that will transform industrial design into the network culture, into the internet. I, I could say Open Design is my life's work in a way. My name is Ronen Kadushin. I'm a product designer, I'm a design educator, I am very much involved working in a field uh, I'm a pioneer in called uh, Open Design. I live in Berlin, I'm Israeli, I work for Ando Santos. In the early 2000s I was uh, established in Israel, I was a very sought after design teacher and a designer, I was showing in exhibitions and so on and so on, I, I, was, I was good. But um, my friends that were like uh, graphic designers or musicians or animators or whatever, they are having fun, you know, photographers. Because when internet came in, uh, suddenly they had a platform to show their stuff. Whatever they, they wanted, they, they, just, they just posted it. Any field that is digital was having like a creative party. My field, industrial design or product design, was like um, was somewhere stuck in 1955, yeah, because it was stuck in a hierarchy. Uh, an industrial designer or product designer designs something, he has to ask a producer to produce it, yeah. And I came to a conclusion that the the transformation between uh, hierarchy and network is the most important uh, transformation of this time. The fact that I, I made the designs downloadable means that um, uh, everybody can download and produce and change and, and do variations and modifications and so on and so on without a problem because it's open, like open source software, yeah? That's the optimal uh, situation. So this was the beginning and then I, I was doing it for, for a long, long, long time, like 15 years now, uh, opening an open design business and recently Fit Furniture, which is my new uh, business endeavor, I'll see how it works. Well, ideas have uh, their, own, uh, their own life. They, they become bigger, they, become, they go sideways, they become all kinds of things, yeah? Development uh, is something that you could not um, foresee. And uh, in my long experience of brainstorming sessions, uh, there are two kinds, one that you feel drained and tired, and once you feel energized and happy. And with Ando Santos, the, the nice thing is that when you finish uh, this kind of uh, long brainstorming session, you feel energized, you feel happy, you feel, oh, this, this was interesting. And it's like uh, driving a Ferrari, you know, it's, it's just so fast. It, it, things happen by themselves, yeah, it, they're just boom, yeah, going an idea here and here and here and here, and the client is just, Oh, this is interesting, you know, there is a reaction of, oh, we didn't expect this kind of thing. There is a sense that uh, putting creators uh, in the same room, having ideas, thinking about uh, things in, in their own way, must produce something. There's always a result. There's always something that you, that the client would say, I didn't think about it. You are standing at the end of a workbench on, on, on the ground that you feel that is going very fast and you are going to do something with it. <laughs>